one of the things that I've done in the last 50 years, I suppose, is check up on the various physical um, items that the Bible says are there. Besides doing a lot more study over and, over and above that, but literally these things have been put there, whether it be towns, rivers, cities, battles where they found the artifacts, um, thousands and thousands of reference points. And the interesting part is that over the last 200 years or so, or even more, since men have been digging around in the Middle East, they've found the cities that we didn't know were there before, like Nineveh or Babylon. And, uh, of course, we find, find Tyre and Sidon. And, of course, Jerusalem is there. And, you know, all the cities and, and you know, are there. And so many, so much else, which you know, I don't have time to list here, but I just can assure you that even they found even the the city of Avaris, where the Exodus started from, they found the chariot wheels under the Red Sea, and they found the mountain of God, not where people think it is at that monastery, it's in another spot. So it just goes on and on and on. The Bible is, therefore, in the physical sense, very accurate. In the scientific sense, it is uh, as well. If you, you know, for instance, it says there's rivers under the oceans. There was. When Jacques Cousteau went down in 1960, he came up amazed to tell us that there was huge rivers down there bigger than the uh, Amazon. And uh, it made the Amazon even look like a trickle. Um, and, you know, when it talks about the Pleiades being gravitationally attracted, there were. Sir Isaac Newton found uh, diffusion of light because it's in the Book of Job. Uh, that we found um, the uh, fountains of the deep. Um, 30 years ago, thousands of years ago, they were mentioned uh, before the flood and after the flood when they were closed up. But they weren't, don't call them fountains of the deep, they'd rather call, take poison than do that. What they did was they, they in actual fact, called them smokers. You know, so uh, all the physical attributes of the Bible are there. So my question is, if everything else is there, why would you start doubting the, the, the theoretical or the, 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 the spiritual things that it says and let me just give you one here and this this thing about the rapture is completely unbiblical because what it's saying is be with our church and we will be saved before all these things start to happen but the bible doesn't say that and you know uh, paul uh, sorry matthew it says uh, under the heading the sign of the coming of the son of man in matthew 24 29 to 31 it says, immediately, but after the tribulation of those days, will the sun be darkened, and the moon will not give her light, and the stars will fall from heaven, and the powers of heavens will be shaken. And only then will appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then when all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he will send his, mal his angel with the great sound of a trumpet, and there will gather together his elect to the four winds from the ends of the earth. That's the only time when the elect will be gathered. And then it goes on to talk about the parable of fig tree in verse 32, and it goes on from there. Then if we, we look over in Luke uh, 22, verse 25, it starts, and there will be signs in the sun. And then it goes down right to 28, and it says, And when these things come to pass, then look up and uh, lift up your heads, and because the redemption draws near. So you'll see the signs, you'll see the Son of Man coming. And then it goes on to the parable of the fig tree on, uh, on verse 29 of chapter 22. So there we are twice in the Bible, at least it, it confirms the procedure. There's a procedure there of what is going to happen. Thank you very much. And, you know, go to this website up here because there's going to be a lot on there. And it's a lot coming on there. It's being built. And, you know, you'll, you'll see a lot of this type of thing where, you know, facts are revealed. Thank you very much.